This is a window sash lock. Uh, this hooks onto the window. This hooks onto the wall. Keeps you from opening the window too wide, or a door, I guess. Uh, they're using cheap motels. It's two wafers. And then what you're supposed to do is unlock this. This pin and cable comes out, and then you can open the window or door all the way. Um, top wafer in there. You can see it. It's a huge brass wafer. Press it in, and you can turn it without even a tension wrench. You can turn and unlock this. If you go all the way to the bottom, there's a second one. You can see the part of it there and if you do that from the inside or even press here the whole core will come out so the fun part about this lock is trying to pick it without getting the core or trying to pick it with the core um, you want something with a hook at the bottom so you can hook that bottom pin and then also lift up at the same time way at the bottom see I just unlocked it I didn't even mean to unlock it so let's see this is a Sparrow Sandman anything that can kind of grab in is better but I already opened it let's see if I can I just locked it. And there comes the whole thing. You can see two wafers. You can see them on this side. A little bit better. Top wafer, bottom wafer. If you want to load it back in, there's little little bump outs that go inward you can index to that what I like to do is tilt the bottom wafer so now it's being pressed in by that bump and press it in the top wafer press in again push all the way to the bottom there now that's unlocked Locked, unlocked. Uh, let's do this this way. Now you can attack just that little wafer, and then it, the whole thing comes out. You don't even have to pick the pick the top lock wafer. You can just do the uh, the one that keeps the core in. Push it back in. It's a little bit more finicky because you need to find a good, good pick for this, which is usually a bad pick for everything else. Uh, this is. The Medusa. I can't remember what it's actually called. It might be the Medusa. There's another Sparrows one. That one's a little less hooky. Because these are manufactured very, very cheaply, very ragged inside. That actually worked a bit easier. Because that keyway, it's all just jagged, jagged machining. This whole lock. I got off of eBay. It was, I think, three dollars and ninety-eight cents. No ship from Georgia. There's a Chinese seller, but they they shipped from Georgia, Danielsville, Georgia. And yeah, less than five bucks. Put that one back so you can see it again. 
Atom Waiver, Top Waiver. Rock it in on one of those bumps. Then when it catches, push it and then just twist it and it's back in. See if we're, it's unlocked. And lock it back up. It's not bad. It might be a good thing. It's kind of like those things that used to be in banks that keep you from stealing the pen. So if you had something cheap that you didn't think someone was going to steal, but you didn't want them to walk off with it, like a courtesy tablet at a hotel or something, I guess this would be good. But man, basically put anything in that slot and it's either going to unlock right away. Boom, I just unlocked it. Or if they dig deeper, the whole core will come out. And then you lost whatever was attached to this, plus your lock has gone. Which, piece of garbage anyway. Um, I wouldn't put this on a window or a door just for you know, safety. Fire code. But I guess in an emergency, you can always just break the window. <laughs> it's still not up to code though you don't find these in uh too many american hotels so anyway that's like a zillion easy ways to defeat this lock using anything paper clip would be good anything you can fit in there to that first wafer will unlock this. So a thin pen knife could probably do it. A pair of tweezers. Real small scissors. Not quite a mechanical pencil lead, but close. That's that.